Hi Pisces, this is your April 8th through the 14th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is going to be new love entering your life, or maybe not so new <laughs> in your case. Spread number two is uh, love for those of you who are already in a commitment or marriage. In the third spread, we'll see somebody coming back from the past. Spread number four is work, business, and finances. And uh, we'll wrap things up with uh, what you're not expecting to happen this week with spread number five. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is on new or not so new <laughs> love this week. We have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups. Then we have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups with the Sun and uh, the Four of Wands. And uh, we also have the Knight of once on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, there's the or Sagittarius. Yeah, we got mostly fire, right? The king of ones, the um, knight of ones, the sun, could be a Leo, the four of ones, right? And uh, we start with the six of cups, clarified by the eight of pentacles. The six of cups is a soulmate card, right? Just like the two of cups in the first card in the potential outcome, but it's also a card of somebody from the past. Not necessarily an ex, it could just be somebody from your past. Especially if you used to work with this person. Because the Six of Cups is classified by the Eight of Pentacles, which could be interpreted as a card of work, business, and finances. Alright, and at the same time, the Eight of Pentacles <clears throat> could be somebody who is diligently working on something. Or themselves. <laughs> Perhaps you haven't seen this person in a long time. This time, this week they show up and you wouldn't recognize them anymore, right? Because they worked on themselves, they worked out their issues, you know, physical and mental, <laughs> what have you. They worked them out. All right, uh, the Six of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles, yes, somebody you could have worked with in the past, or perhaps you start a new job this week and this person already works there, and you're like, oh my god, hey, long time to see. Or it could be the other way around, this person starts at your workplace and you guys used to work together, or something like that. <clears throat> All right, though so you may just run into this person while you're grocery shopping or while you're out socializing, and this is somebody you used to work with. Um, the King of Wands, right there in the middle, I find the Ace of Cups. That would be the person. <clears throat> the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck is also their energy, so it could be a fire sign. There is their Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. And I think you guys will hit it off. <laughs> The Knight of Wands is not only a fire sign indicator, this is the most passionate knight out of all four knights. Alright, so things may get spicy and hot between the two of you. But I also like how the King of Wands is classifying the Ace of Cups. Right, passion is good, passion is good, but there's also love with that Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is the most loving ace uh, out of all four aces. This is true, genuine, authentic love ace. And uh, yeah, I see you two getting the show on the road. With the Two of Cups, the Sun, and the, the Four of Wands in the potential outcome, definitely, right? It is the potential outcome, but there is one major arcana card in there, the Sun. If this person is a Leo, it makes total sense. The Sun is a Leo major arcana card, but the Sun is not only a Leo card, it's the happiest card in the deck, all right? It is the happiest card in the deck, and as I've already mentioned, the Two of Cups is also a soulmate card. All right, so this definitely, this person is definitely your soulmate. And uh, the four of ones right next to the deck is a card of a commitment of marriage. Some people call it the 1111 card. To me personally, the four of ones always reminds me of an actual wedding. Because in some cultures, when people get married, they do it underneath this canopy, the structure. And uh, the structure in the four of ones always reminds me of that. I think it's going to happen real quick. I think you know this person. So you, you may not need to go on 100 dates to figure out if you want to get anything going with this person. All right? I think you already know whom you're dealing with and I think you guys are going to be... You know, perhaps in the past one of you or both of you were unavailable. But you may have had feelings for this person but it was inappropriate or they, like I said, they, they were unavailable. This time both of you are available, single and ready to mingle and uh, off into the sunset to tell you go. <laughs> Really happy for you, Pisces. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, Pisces, this part is for you. We have uh, the King of Cups, the Page of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups. Um, we have the Moon and Temperance on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow <laughs> water sign. 
Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or not a Pisces, right? So we actually have water across the board, except for the Temperance card, right? Uh, but even in the Temperance card, uh, the angel or the deity is standing up and they're pouring liquid from one cup to another. Liquid is emotions, right? Liquid is water. <laughs> but it's all water across the boards. So this is a very watery, very emotional type of a situation. And it kind of feels like an apology, to be honest with you. Right? As a matter of fact, an apology was the first thing that I thought of. The Page of Cups could be an apology. Temperance could be a card of healing, bearing the hatchet, you know, rebalancing things, getting back together, or, or you know, reestablishing, going back to normal, basically. Right? The moon right next to the deck, that's you, Pisces. That's your major arcana kind of card. And the King of Cups could also be a water sign. Right? The King of Cups is actually somebody who is like very loving, uh, type of a person. And the Page of Cups is clarified by the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups could be like, please forgive me, honey, let's go out and celebrate or something like that. <laughs> Alright, uh, the Three of Cups could be maybe a gift certificate to a spa or gift certificate to somewhere else to go shopping or <laughs> what have you. But uh, it, it almost, yeah, it feels like you guys are going back to normal. Alright, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also, keep in mind, Mercury is still in retrograde. <laughs> this is when more exes than usual tend to resurface. So we have the Lovers, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We have Judgment, the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or absolutely any Zodiac sign. You know what it looks like? Pisces, it, it looks like you guys can't live without each other. And uh, perhaps Mercury retrograde is also lighting up the fire <laughs> underneath, right? But uh, we start with the lovers. Could be a Gemini. You're dealing with the lovers as a card of a choice. Um, but uh, the lovers is also, in my opinion, the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection, and uh, the love of your life. It's clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, right? The Wheel of Fortune, when it comes to people from the past, is a repeat or a restart of a cycle. And perhaps you two finally learned your lessons. Because those, those were painful lessons, according to that Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Right? It's a card of somebody who is really stressed out, somebody who cries themselves to sleep, somebody who thinks something like, Oh my God! What have I done? Or what have we done? I can't live without this person. I'm so still in love with this person. Right? So here comes judgment in the middle. It is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And it's also a card of uh, having to make a judgment call. And uh, I really like how it's followed up by the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Right? The Ace of Wands is... Uh, uh, a spark reignited <laughs> between you two. And the Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment of marriage. Commitment or marriage. <laughs> Alright, so I think it is a reconciliation. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Pisces, this week. We have uh, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and uh, the World on the bottom of the deck. Well, uh, somebody's coming your way, Pisces, with an offer, but you're like, um, no, thanks, but no thanks. I think you're good with what you currently have, all right? Or maybe if somebody comes your way with an offer and you reject it, they may come back with a better offer, okay? Um, yeah, because uh, to be fair to whoever it is coming your way with the Knight of Pentacles, it is a serious offer, okay? It's the most financially abundant offer. Out of all four nights, it's the most financially abundant night, right? You, on the other hand, with the Four of Cups in the middle, you're like, uh-uh, nope, thanks, but no thanks. The Eight of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of work, business, and finance. So this is you, you know, happy, you know, <laughs> doing whatever it is you do for work, for money, right? The world on the bottom of the deck is a card of an ending, right? And But it's also a happy end card. Perhaps um, you have... Perhaps you went and interviewed f with multiple companies, right? And uh, one of the companies is going to offer you a job, but this other company you interviewed for, they're just too slow, too slow. So they're going to come your way and say, hey, all right, so we're ready to make you an offer. And you're like, you know what? You guys should have moved faster. You snooze, you lose, all right? Because you just, you already signed another 
a work offer or something like that. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Pisces. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups, and the Page of Cups <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. I assume you're the Queen of Cups here, Pisces. And uh, what you're not expecting, you'll be invited to some kind of a family-oriented celebration. You know, it, if you have, it could be like a birthday party, okay, because uh, we're in the middle of an Aries birthday season, so if you have an Aries friend or a family member, perhaps they're throwing, a, there is a surprise birthday party or something like that. But um, you could be invited to go to a wedding, to an engagement party, um, maybe a baby shower or a housewarming party, right? Because we have two marriage cards on the table, two family cards, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, right? So th those two are commitment to marriage or family cards. And the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck is an invitation, all right, to go to some kind of an event, and I, I guess it has something to do with those two cards, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Somebody could be getting married, right? And the Queen of Cups is qualified by the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of an event or a party. So that's, your, that's you going there and having a good time, okay? Maybe it's your own wedding, Pisces. <laughs> Are you getting married? Are you celebrating something that has to do with your family, and maybe you're not expecting it? Maybe somebody wants to surprise you. I don't know. But this is this looks awesome. I think it's a very pleasant surprise. All right. So uh, that's what I have for you, Pisces, for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing week.